Real House Moms, and today I am going to share with you my mom's recipe for mashed potatoes. So these are my mom's mashed potatoes. I got the recipe from her a few years back when I was hosting my first Thanksgiving, and it's amazing. They're the lightest, fluffiest mashed potatoes you will ever try, and I'm even going to share with you her secret ingredients, so shh, don't tell her, okay? We're going to start out with five pounds of peeled potatoes. I just used a regular Idaho potato, chopped it up into similar sized pieces, about an inch, inch and a half, and boiled them off. So we're starting at that point. You guys know how to boil potatoes. You're going to boil till they're fork tender. You stick a fork in, it comes out uh, really easy. It falls right off the fork. You're good to go. Drain them and then put them into your stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, just put them in a large mixing bowl and you're going to use a hand beater for this. Um, I like this because it's easier for me because I'm a little lazy. So we're going to start there. We're going to beat them. That's the trick to getting really light mashed potatoes, says my mom. You're going to beat them entirely till there's no lumps before you add a single thing. Then we're going to go in. We're going to add our butter. It's a stick of butter. We are adding a can of evaporated milk. It is not sweetened condensed milk. Don't use that. I've made that mistake. It doesn't turn out well. Evaporated milk. We are using some ground pepper and some salt. And then the secret ingredient is a little bit of ground nutmeg. If you have fresh nutmeg and you want to grind, ground that in there, amazing. But if not, grab what you have and use that. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're going to start by whipping our potatoes. Cross your fingers. There we go. All right, while that's going, I will let you in on a trick, an experiment that I did with these potatoes. I like to do a lot of my Thanksgiving cooking earlier the day before or as far ahead in the week as I can. Um, and mashed potatoes is one of those dishes that I just had a hard time with. I don't want my potatoes to be black when I'm mashing them up, right? And that's what you, the risk you run if you're going to peel your potatoes ahead of time. So I did some research and then I tried it out. We peeled and chopped these potatoes yesterday, more than about 24 hours ago maybe actually at this point. We rinsed them off, so we peeled them and then we rinsed them in cold water really well, chopped them and then we put them in the pot with cold water. And then we added a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Let's turn this up a bit. So we added a tablespoon of white wine vinegar and then put the lid on, stuck them in the refrigerator overnight, and they kept their color perfectly. The so white wine vinegar will not affect the taste, and you're gonna end up with being able to just whip up your potatoes right before dinner. So it's gonna save you a lot of time and hassle on the day of Thanksgiving. I definitely recommend this trick. That, or you can even try our recipe for baked mashed potatoes. That's a really great one too. I'll link to that recipe down below as well. But I'm telling you, this recipe is so amazing. So, we're just whipping these up, and we're going to keep whipping them right now. I'm going to increase the speed a little bit, slowly kind of work your speed up until you get them light and fluffy, but I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and we'll start adding in these. Now at some point it's going to 
look like they're super liquidy, kind of like you've overdone that a little bit. It evaporates in. So to get that really light, light texture, we're going to add a little bit more than you think, but we'll kind of go through this and you'll see. you make up a batch. I still have some lumps in mine because I'm impatient. I do not have the patience of my mom. So if you have more patience than me, keep whipping them in the beginning until all the lumps are out and you will have the lightest, fluffiest potatoes you've ever had. All right, guys, if you like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up down below. If you want more recipes like this, you can find them on our Facebook page and also at our website, realhousemoms.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. Alright guys, happy Thanksgiving. Bye!